Nick, I love you with all my heart. <laughs> I stand here today offering you my love and my hand in marriage. Whilst we've waited years for this moment, I've waited all my life just to be this happy and as complete as you make me feel. You give me the confidence to be happy in who I am and you support me and you motivate me to be a better person in life. I know at times my work can be demanding, but I'm thankful for that because it's that that brought you into my life. That day I found myself interviewing my future wife. <laughs> <laughs> and thinking to myself at the time, you've got to get the job. Not because you're beautiful, <laughs> but on merit, because you're great at what you do. And I will be your biggest supporter in everything we do going forward. Rob, I feel so lucky to finally be standing beside you in front of our family and friends on our wedding day. It's hard to believe it's taken us six years to get here, given that you told me you loved me three days after we met. <laughs> <laughs> But it's absolutely been worth the wait. I hope you know how proud I am of you, of who you are, proud of everything you do for us as a family. Thank you for accepting me as I am. Thank you for always being so patient with me. And thank you for being such a wonderful daddy to our children. Thank you for making me feel so loved, so safe and so very happy. Nicola has grown into an independent, outgoing, and very beautiful young woman. Oh, so sweet. Look at all these presents. It's like Christmas. And we are so very, very proud of everything that she has achieved. When we first met Rob, we instantly took a liking to him. He seemed very kind, caring, and thoughtful. In April 2017, while Steve and I were on holiday, I received a message from Rob saying, can you let me know when I can FaceTime you? And much to our delight, he asked for Nicola's hand in marriage, proving once again what a genuine and sincere guy he is. You are both amazing parents. Rob, you're truly a credit to your family, and we wish you all the love and happiness for the future. Today I promise I will always keep you and the children as my number one priority. I promise to be better at being on time. I promise to trust you and to give you the space and the freedom you need to flourish and to be you. I promise always to listen more than I talk, not because I should, but because listening to you, hearing your thoughts and your dreams matter to me and I want to make those dreams come true. So I'm standing here hoping I'm worthy of your love for the rest of our lives because I'm giving you mine unconditionally. Today I promise to appreciate you as much as I do today, forever. I promise to be faithful to you. I promise to be there for you, to care for you, and to never make you go in the freezer. <laughs> I can't promise to ever love your taste in music. <laughs> <laughs> or get used to the fact that you're late about everything. <laughs> but I do promise to love you forever, Rob. Exactly who you are, and never wish you to change. 
And as we start this new chapter, I promise to always make our family's love and happiness my priority. Today, I give you my hand and my heart until death do us part. Robert Lee Wood, Nicola Janine Boyd. It gives me great pleasure to pronounce that you are now joined together lawfully as husband and wife. And Rob, I think you know what to do. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, a very warm welcome to Forsley Hall for the marriage celebrations of Mr. and Mrs. Rob and Nicola Wood. We have witnessed their relationship blossoming and the love and respect that they have for each other is evident in everything they do, which is primarily family focused. have three children who are now all married and they have all met and married the most amazing partners and I think that's everything that any parent could wish for. For a long and happy life together, Rob and Nicola. Our beautiful children, Alex and Fia. You are both perfect, beautiful, wonderful. We are so proud of you both. Fia, you're an amazing flower girl this morning. Alex, so confident and brave with the rings. And expert bow, really good. <laughs> formally met in an interview, although a short while before that, I actually saw Nick in passing on a night out. She's wearing a black dress, tights, with flowers down at the side, and literally blew me away. <laughs> Absolutely. Like a stalker, I know, but I, it was that fleeting moment and just stood out. <laughs> <laughs> Nick's name came up on the candidate list and I thought, okay, could this actually be her? I'm not sure. And wow, she'd just been on holiday. Nick turned up, hair done, smart suit, an amazing tan, and absolutely blew me away. I'm a bumbling mess in an interview, trying to <laughs> remain composed. It was during that interview though, just the confidence and the kind of presence you had absolutely captured me. And I knew that day, I had to try and win your heart. But now, Nick, my words can't do justice just how proud I am to be your husband. And they can't do justice just how proud I am of you. Rob, you've turned into some sort of poet. Seriously, today, wow, where'd you get the words? Unbelievable. For those that don't know, the three of us met when we were about 12 years old in our first year at secondary school, Leon. One day we were finally able to find something that Rob wasn't very good at, football. <laughs> The lads from Leon football team have kindly sent a message which I'll read out. Dear Nicola, we're so sorry we couldn't be there on your special day. Good luck with Rob. We found him to be useless in most positions, so we're wishing you all the best. <laughs> Rob's the best friend we could ask for, and Nick, you're in good hands. And likewise, Rob, you've an amazing new wife, extended family, and we love you, and our friendship means so much to us. Rob, you're like a brother to us. Really proud of you, mate. We're really proud of you. You're two amazing children, Alex and Fia, and now the perfect wife and Nick.
we all have lived happily ever after and joy the night.